Hey folks, G the Hat Guy here, back at you with another awesome hat video here. We're going to be discussing three ways to stretch your felt or straw hat. Okay, going to give you some quick tips here um, to try this stuff. Uh, but some of the uh, points that are going to be made in this video, um, you have to be careful with it. Uh, if it's something you're not comfortable with, then I suggest taking it to a hat shop, a hat professional, where they're able to do this, okay? Because some of it does take a little bit of, uh, you know, just take some practicing and some skill, okay? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get into it. Make sure you subscribe, like, share the content with somebody else who's into hat-related content, okay? Uh, we appreciate your support. So let's get right into it. Number one way that uh, you can stretch your hat, okay? Uh, would be if you're able to get a hold of a uh, what's called a hat block okay some of you might be familiar with this already by now uh, from previous video or you know just from being a hat person over the years what now you've been to some hat shops you send them around what not around hat culture all that great stuff so yeah they come in different sizes okay this particular one it's uh it measures uh seven and a quarter on there so if you get one you know, maybe uh, for your hat size or maybe get a couple or maybe for a little bit. If you like a little extra room, get it for the next size up or something. Okay, you can do that as well. If you want your exact size, then get one for your hat size. So you can use a hat block, okay, if you're able to get a hold of one. And, uh, you know, sometimes they're not that easy to get a hold of. Uh, now they might be a bit more. Uh, easier to get a hold of than they used to be whatnot so anyways if you're able to get a hold of one uh you're gonna need to apply some steam okay easy way as far as steam application is concerned and bear with me i'm recording with one hand trying to show you uh the best i can with another hand here in real simple terms okay so with stuff that you have around the house your iron okay you take your iron some steam okay you apply the steam um Let's see here. Let me grab a hat here. Yeah, you apply the steam to, uh, you lift up your sweat band right there, okay? You lift up your sweat band, okay? You apply the steam with the iron on the inside, all around the base of the sweat band underneath, okay? Same thing. Uh, yeah, I said once you do it on the inside, that should be sufficient. You shouldn't have to do it on the outside, uh, so, you know? When I do it, sometimes I do it on the outside, you know. So I say do it on the inside first, and you see how it goes, like I said. So do it on the inside, okay. That should be all you need if you do it real good. You know, hit hit your uh, steam button on there. Let it get some steam all around, evenly, all across underneath the sweat band, okay. And you put it on your hat block, okay. So if for whatever reason, your straw hat or your felt hat, okay, or your wool you know, your wool felt or your fur felt hat, okay? Then you put it on the hat block. And you put it all the way down as far as you can get it, okay? Uh, without, you know, um, uh, ruining your uh, your creases, you know, your dents on the hat, your pinches, okay? So try to get as low as possible. Don't apply any steam to the crown, though, okay? Just that underneath the sweatband, Okay? Because you don't want to cause other problems, you know, that's going to ruin the shape and all that other stuff. And this kind of stuff, you know, I don't, I'm not going to go too deep into it. Because like I said, there's some expertise that comes with it. With shaping hats and all that other stuff. You know, there's, there's a lot that goes in. It's a craft, you know, so that people master over time. You know, so if you're somebody that's just trying to do this, okay, I can give you just some basic tip that you can try, you know. And you have to be very careful in the process not to ruin your hat. So if it's something that you're not comfortable with trying yourself, then I suggest taking it to a hat shop where they do that kind of stuff or a hat professional that can do it for you. Okay, that's used to doing that kind of stuff. Okay, so again, and then you put it on the hat block, you know, like I said, as far down as you can without ruining your your dents and stuff, you know, just so you can hold that size. And I said probably leave it on there, you know, for uh you know, for a few hours, leave it on there for a few hours, okay? After a few hours, you know, so it dries, that steam dries on that hat block that's holding your size, okay? And then you take it off of there, try it on, see how it fits, if it fits better, okay? If it doesn't fit better, repeat the same application again, 
Okay, apply the steam, lift up the sweat band all across the base, like I said earlier. Okay, see if that works. You know, put it back on the block. Again, leave it on there for a few hours, you know, at the most, you know, that, that you know, so, and, 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 and try it on, see how that fits. You know, the professionals, we have, we have, you know, different ways that we do it. There's equipment that professional use and all kinds of other stuff. But this, this is just a basic, again, thing that you can do without, you know, if you're on a budget or something, or this is just something you need real simple. Like I said, you're on a budget, whatever, whatever. You, you know, you don't have any professionals in your area, that kind of stuff. This is a quick tip that will help you that, that can, you know, pretty much do the same task. You know, as long as you don't mess it up in the process, you know, you're comfortable with what you're doing. Like I said, if you're not comfortable, please consult with a hat professional that can take care of that for you. Okay. That's my disclosure to you in this. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and that pretty much works for felt, like I said, like this one or a straw hat. Okay, you can use it. I've got a Panama straw up here, too. You can do the same routine. Okay, but make sure you don't apply the steam to the crown, just that area, the base around the sweatband. Okay, apply it around the sweatband and, and try that. And that is just for like a half size. If you're trying to, very important. If you're trying to increase the hash size just by maybe about a half size or maybe just a whole size up, I won't waste my time trying to do something like that for like two sizes up. If you're like a seven and a quarter and you're trying to go up to seven, three eighths, which is the next size up. Yeah, that's fine. You know, or just a little bit. You just want to retain back to your size for whatever reason. The hat shrunk, the straw shrunk or the felt shrunk or something, you know, half size to a size. Anything you're going up to uh, uh, one size and a half or two sizes, I will refer that to a professional, like I said, you know, because, uh, you know, there's other, we have equipment, you know, that to get everything done properly. This is just a quick thing. Make sure that you don't ruin your hat, you know, uh, whatnot. Anything, if you're trying to go, uh, you know, a uh, uh, size and a half, two sizes up, I will consult with a professional so they can use their equipment and, and do it properly for you you know but this is just something in home that you can do uh you know to stretch your hat size you know what not yourself you know just really quick so that's the number one with the hat block and steam i show you know showed you that real quick okay uh number two uh and, and you know you could use the iron or if you if you don't have an iron you know another option any source of steam you have a steam machine or uh you can boil a uh you know you have some uh a kettle on your stove the kettle is good. You boil some hot water, use a kettle, get some steam underneath that sweat band, okay? So you can use an iron, a kettle, you know, on the stove, uh, a pot of water. If you ever put a pot, a boiling pot of water on the stove, boil some water, get some steam. So there's multiple ways. As long as you have a good source of steam, that's what you need for that. And that works for straw or felt, you know, okay? Uh, and then what else? Probably might not work for like a, a polypropylene, uh, those plastic straws, those cheap hats with the plastic straws, like polypropylene and stuff like that, you know, or, or myelin hemp um, that is uh, made out of myelin, uh, polypropylene, they, they call it myelin as well. Not not the hemp myelin, that's the natural stuff, but the polypropylene myelin straw, I don't believe it will work for plastic because it's plastic as far as just, the steam, it still might work. You know, you, you can try that. You soften that plastic a little bit, you know, somewhat, what not, so... Uh, so again, that's the first tip. The second one would be, um, we have the, uh, the hat stretcher, same thing. You repeat the process. You apply some steam. I'm sure some of you probably sent some of these out there. The, some people call it hat jack and you know, stuff like that, you know, and you can adjust it in the middle for your hat, the base of your hat. Once you apply the, this stuff is really not one of my personal favorites. I've never actually used this, you know, again, I have equipment, you know, and stuff that I use. So uh uh yeah so this stuff once you apply the ste steam again underneath the sweat band you know then you can put this stuff to hold the size in your hat again let it sit for about an hour or so you know let it dry and stuff and then you try it on and see how it fits okay and you can get this online i think they call it like hat jack or something or hat stretcher i think it's hat jack they call it you know so anyways you, you look for that and uh it's adjustable hat stretcher that's what that's what they call it it's on that box right there uh, yeah adjustable hat stretcher you know you see that 
the adjustable hash stretcher. That's what it is. Yeah, so, um, and then there's one called like a hat jack too. So that's, uh, that's another one you can use. And along with that, you know, it's a hat retainer, which is, uh, you know, similar as well. You know, you have a hat retainer, it's similar. Okay, oh, the only thing is this one goes all around, you see, and you can adjust the size. You can expand it, depending on the size you're looking for. This one is better. I like this one better than that one, you know, because this one goes all around. So, and we use something similar in wood, you know, that's all wood for hat making process anyways, you know. So, this is plastic. So, you can get this online as well. You apply the steam underneath the sweat band, same thing. You, you put this in there. If you don't have a, you're not able to get a hat block, which is... Could be tough trying to get a hold of that. So, um, yeah, and then you put this. Okay, for somebody who's not a hat maker, you know, you don't really need the hat block. You know, I said something like this should work again, just for stretching up to like from a hat size to like one whole size up. You don't want to go a size and a half, or you might be able to get away with a size and a half. Uh, but I won't waste my time with that or, or two hat sizes. You getting into size and a half or two hat sizes. I think you need to consult with a hat professional to take care of that for you, okay? Uh, so, again, you apply your steam, and then you put this in there. You adjust it to the size that you want, okay? Just adjust it. If you just want to expand it just a little bit on the hat size, go ahead and do that. Just adjust it, okay? And, and and uh, and uh, yeah, and let it sit for about an hour or so, and then try it back, you know, Half hour, hour, something like that. Let it dry and then try it, try it on, try on the hat, see how it fit. Okay. So again, this goes with the hat stretcher, the hat jack, whatnot. Um, and then number three option, you do the same process. You apply the steam. If you don't, you know, you're on a budget or you're not able to get get the uh, hat jack or or the hat retainer or the uh, hat stretcher or a hat block, then you apply the steam and then just wear the hat on your head. Wear the hat on your head for about 30 minutes, okay? Uh, you know, just so, you know, the steam can can dry and let it, you know, if you want to put like a scarf over your head or a piece of fabric, T-shirt over your head, okay? So that steam, because it gets hot, you know, so that way you don't burn your head or something. Put, put a piece of uh, fabric on your head, wear your hat, your straw hat, or your felt hat. Once you apply the steam, you know, fold in the sweatband, fold it back in, and then put the hat on. Okay, for about 30 minutes, you know, and 45 minutes, I say about 30, to, yeah, 30 minutes or so, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, you know, while you're busy walking around your house or doing whatever it is that you're doing where you're at, you know, and then, uh, yeah, you know, you should, you should be able to get the hat size back that way too, you know, that's another cheap way and, uh, you know, where you can easily, you know, resize your hat, you know, stretch your hat yourself, okay. Uh, anything above, like I said, one and a half, two sizes, whatnot, or if you're not comfortable with the process, then take it to a hat professional, a hat shop that does that, or, uh, or a hat professional in your area that's able to do it. Or if you want to mail it into somebody who, another hat shop elsewhere, out of state or something, or in another city, let them go ahead and take care of it for you. Okay. Again, this is G the Hat Guy. Join the Hat Lounge by G the Hat Guy on Facebook. It's our Facebook group. We're trying to grow that group. Okay. Uh, you can share your pictures of you wearing your hats and, you know, your hat collection. You can show, show that, you know, in your closet. Show us your hat collection, your ensemble with your outfits and your hats and your caps. Okay. Uh, no spam. No spam. Send me a request to join the group and then I'll go ahead and approve it. And then, you know, you're aboard. Okay. We're trying to grow that, you know. So like, share, subscribe to the channel. I've got great, awesome hat content coming your way. I hope you've gained something. I hope you learned something from this video. That's what it's all about. Teaching stuff, sharing stuff, you know, whatever you have you want to share, go ahead and share in the comment section of this video as well, okay? So, uh, let me know if you're familiar with some of the stuff that we shared here today. The hat jack, the hat stretcher, hat retainer, the hat blocks. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have some of this stuff already. If you're familiar or you learned something, you gained something, okay? Thank you very much. Thumbs up the video. And uh, I'm signing out again. This is G, the hat guy. Until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.